stayed so long at the restaurant, we had to go straight to the airport. So we get there, and you don't sober up in like two hours after three bottles of rum. I was not in airport condition. And so my tour manager has one hand on each shoulder, right? Ryan's trying to push me through the airport, and you know, he's about 190. I'm not. And he's pushing me with everything. <laughs> and he gets me all the way to airport security. And airport security in Australia, you don't have to take off your shoes. And I didn't worry about taking off a belt because I don't wear a belt because I have a butt. <laughs> so he lines me up with airport security and he tells me, I gotta let you go. Don't let me go. I gotta let you go. Don't let me go. And then he pushed me <laughs> and I'm going forward. And he yells out, you're a plane. And the two-year-old came out. I'm a plane. <laughs> and now this fluffy 747 is headed right for the metal detector. And I could see the security officer on the other side. <laughs> And when I got really close, Ryan yells out, wings down, wings down. <laughs> and I went through, and I didn't touch the edges. But when I went through, I sobered up for half a second because I realized, oh my God, I forgot to check the knife that the guy gave me. And it's on me, and I've already cleared the freaking, you know. So I'm like, <gasps> The security officer does this. Eh, hey, go ahead. <laughs> Houston, sober me would have internally celebrated the fact that I am not going to prison for sneaking a knife past airport security and boarding a flight. Drunk me was offended. Oh, you can ask my buddy Ryan, who was right behind me. <laughs> I looked at the security officer and I said, Hey! Hey! How do you know? How do you know? I'm not a terrorist. <laughs> and I could hear my friends in line. Fuck! The security officer in uniform wearing a badge looks at me and says, hey, when have you ever seen a fat terrorist?